go, Vesanti here. So we're here to talk about Jin Yuen. Uh, it's kind of like a build guide, kind of like showcase at the same time. Uh, the stuff that I just did, they're not in Simulated Universe, so don't worry about it. And um, if you want to check out my pull video, it's actually on my YouTube channel. Uh, so do check that out. But yeah, we're going to get into this. So why I think he's great, he's freaking OP for me. I enjoy him because he's pretty much two characters in one. If you look at his talent, he pretty much summons a Lightning Lord, based, does damage based on his uh, his attack. And then he also kind of hit adjacent enemies for 25% of the damage. So it starts at ba 60 base speed and had 3 base hits. And then each time he does his ultimate or skill, it gets 2 actions. And then every time it increases the action, it's extra attack stack and uh, 10 speed. Same thing with technique, increase it by 3. All right, we're here in the memory stage 13. I didn't have a DPS and I'm free to play, so I have to go with what I have, right? And so I didn't level another DPS because I was staying for Jin Yuen here. So I'm just gonna like buff up with the technique here and we're just gonna go. So he does do like multiple hits. That one makes him good. He can like shred through shields pretty easily. And also, when you have six or more stacks, right, it, it actually gets 25% more damage as of a trace. Which is good. <laughs> but that's why kind of majority you want to run uh, crit rate. We can shred through armor too. And I kind of finally build these up. I'm on guard. He would be good if I had Asta here to give him more speed boost. A foregone conclusion. Here, this thunder. Time for a shot. Show no mercy. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, I beat it finally, right? <laughs> Alright, we're at the traces here, and here is the one I was talking about of the crit damage. If you have six or more stacks. And this one just gives energy. This one gives you more crit rate after using a skill. A lot of the nodes give attack. And there's some that give crit rate and then just defense. So um you need you will need like this thing here that you get from Cloud Ford and uh, from the Mara Struck characters and this key is from the dungeon. Alright, let's talk about relics. So the main set you want to go for is the four piece lightning set. It give you damage, lightning damage increased by 10%, and when wear uses their skill, increases their wear attack by 20% for one turn. And then for the orb and the rope, you want to go for the crit rate. I believe that's the best one because it increases your follow-up attack and ultimate by 15% when you're 50% or higher. So that's real good. It gives you crit rate. And you want to go for crit rate anyways. But that's straight up damage increase. And so the, the things you want to go for is the lightning damage. So for the orb, you can go for the lightning damage boost. That's the number one thing you should go for straight up. <laughs> increases the damage right off the bat. And then... Um, for the body here, you want crit rate so you can hit that 50% very easily. So that's another increase. So you do want crit rate more than crit damage because you want to hit that 50% threshold. Because that's a straight up damage increase, but you have to crit. Okay. But you do want crit damage as a substat. So once you hit like 50% ish, you can kind of try to aim for more crit damage so depending on your substat of all the things right so if you see here i got a lot of crit damage here and it gave me some crit rate too so that's very good and i went here for crit rate and speed is probably the next one you kind of want to go for speed and attack percentage kind of like depending um on obviously what the game gives you but i like attack percent more than speed because speed as a substat isn't that great you can always just go for speed in the boots but um, I'm also obviously using attack for more damage. It kind of depends on your team comp too. If you're using Asta, Tingya, and Abronia, you probably want speed. Especially in the end game, you probably want speed more. Because as, as you scale up, you get like diminishing return having too much attack. <laughs> Since I feel like for the rope, you want attack. That's like the number one thing you want to go for for the rope. You want attack. And because that's the like more all-rounder thing. You can also go energy recharge for more ult. But I like damage, so we're going to go for attack. You can also go break effect if the game gives you that. Because uh, you do break a lot of shields. So break effect is kind of like the last. So in priority, lightning damage, crit rate, crit damage, and then attack, and then speed, and then break. 
pretty much what you kind of go for. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for the relics here. Light cones. Obviously, the best one for him is his five star one. It just straight up increases crit damage, skill damage, ultimate damage. And then when he uses skill ultimate, he gets a stack and that increases the follow up attack, which is the lightning lord damage. It's just straight up good. Then the next one, I believe, for four stars, you probably want to look into this one because one the, this is kind of based on his energy. 0.2% of his energy and his energy goes up to 130. So that straight up increases damage when he has more energy. Then the next one is probably the serious breakfast one. This increases the damage by 12%. And then every time the defeat enemy increases the attack. Some notable ones here. This one's also pretty good because it also increases your, your pretty much lightning or damage attack. And then if their H the enemy's HP it's less than 50, it does even more damage. So this is also a nice choice here. And then last but not least, um, this one just increases your ultimate damage. Like if there's nothing else you have, this is probably good. In terms of three stars, I'm not actually sure. This increases your ultimate, not as great. Uh, after the wear, use your skill, additional energy. You trigger once per turn. This is nice if you just straight up just use ults, right? This one, not that good either. This one we can take a look at increases your attack by 16%. This one attack, not damage, so it's not that great. And then we have Himiko, obviously just attack. So I believe the four star is probably better than using Himiko's uh, thing here. <laughs> when inflicted with weakness break, sure you'd be bringing a lot of shields, but I, I would go for this and then this one, and then you can go for the free one here. It's also pretty good. And then you can go for this one. That's it for light cones, in my opinion. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this video, find it helpful. Let me know how your luck went. Uh, let me know if I'm missing anything, what kind of builds you always trying out. And check check out my stream on twitch.tv slash Sante. I've been playing a lot of Honkai, probably Diablo 4 soon if you're into that. And with that, later days.